Hello guys and welcome back to Time Jump. How you doing? Last episode we made this here Enderman farm and I promised you guys that in between episodes I would go ahead and increase it by four layers. Double the amount of spawning spaces we had. We used to have, what, uh, 250 spawning spaces and now, no, we used to have 248. I think now we have 512 or am I really wrong? There, no, I apologize. It's actually, we used to have 120 spawning spaces, and now we have 240 spawning spaces. 512 would be ridiculous. Could we do it? Absolutely. We definitely could double it again, but I think at that point, no mobs would be able to spawn because they'd be too far away from us, and it would be, uh, there'd just be no point in doing it. How far of a drop is that? Is this going to hurt us a lot? I'll make sure we got this all slabbed up because we ain't coming back up here. Oh yeah, we're good. I do have to be careful because once we get down a certain point here, the cobblestone is going to disappear. Yeah. So I'm, I'm recording this right after I finished uh, recording the last episode. I just quickly ran back to the base, uh, farmed snow for like 30 minutes. It really does take a while to get snow simply because we're using stone and iron shovels, which are quite a lot slower than diamond. It doesn't instant break the snow layer. Um, and then I came back here and I immediately started building. Uh, I should have a yeah, water bucket right here because we need to go ahead and place it right on there. And then let's, oh yeah, we can just walk right in. If we simply come in here and we're down. And then we can use an ender pearl to get out. Awesome. Okay, let's store everything in here and turn it on. Turn it on. Let's switch to hard mode. Let's see how quickly these endermen spawn now. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, here we go. This is way faster. Can it keep us keep up with us punching them? Yeah, this feels way better. You know, it definitely feels twice as fast. It wasn't anything crazy before, so it's nothing like out of this world right now. Sorry, I had to cut there when I was talking, guys. A little bit of a interruption, but yeah, it's it's better. It does. It still doesn't seem that crazy. I think the best thing to do would be to like sit back for a minute, like like walk back for a second or two, let them spawn in. All right, yeah. If you actually step back, it seems like they spawn a lot quicker. Yeah, but then all you have to do is just walk up, punch them. Awesome. So let's now, while I got you guys here. Let's, I should probably put snow here so we don't risk losing XP orbs, but I, I don't think it's a big problem. Let's quickly throw down our enchanting table. We got our 30 bookcases, and our enchanting table is going to go there. Now, obviously, it's we're too low in the world to do a redstone setup, so, you know, it's a shame, but there's, you know, nothing we can do about that. Um, maybe we could do redstone on the top, but I think with the water and everything... It's just not worth it. We'll just have to do the old-fashioned torch method. I do want to do a sword enchant, and I think we'll just do, like, we'll go for a high level. Should we go for, like, a level 40 sword enchant? You know, why not? Go all the way. And I got a bunch of diamonds with us, so we can um, enchant maybe some pickaxes. We need an axe. We need a shovel. So, basically, I'm going to be here a while just punching these endermen gathering up some XP, and I'll come back when it's ready to enchant the sword. We're pretty much almost there already. Okay, I got 40 levels, and I got a level 40 enchantment on our screen. Please be at least sharpness. I don't care if it's not looting. I don't care if it's not on breaking. At least be sharpness 4. Please. Please. Shut. Ugh. I mean, it's, it's better than anything we've had before. But 40 levels for that? I mean, I guess it's not bad. We did get three enchantments. It's just the knockback and fire aspect pulled away from the sharpness. That kind of sucks. Um, all right. All right. Let me let me build up more XP. Find out the proper level for an axe and a shovel, and we'll be back. After doing some calculations, I think 32 is the proper level for a shovel and an axe. Um, it keeps us from getting fortune 3 because we really don't want fortune. But Silk Touch comes at like level 17, so that's not a problem. And then Efficiency 4 uh, starts at level 31. So 32, and then, and then Looting 3 starts at 30, 
three. So if we went one level higher, it'd give us another chance at another fortune, which we don't want. So we'll stick to 32. I'm hoping for efficiency on breaking. Silk touch would be awesome. <gasps> oh, a perfect shovel. Yes. Oh my God. That's perfect. It, it, it doesn't need. Oh my God. That's awesome. I am so happy with that. That is going back home with us. Time to build up another 32 levels. It takes, I'd say, 15 minutes. It's really not bad. It's awesome. Okay, I got 32 levels. 32 in the enchantment table. Let's go for it. Time for the axe. What the fuck? That's exactly not what I wanted. That Okay, that axe is going to be recycled. Oh, come on. Really? I don't even have... Oh, we do. Oh, awesome. We have an axe to unenchant it. Think. All right, we'll do that again. And then I actually also want to give diamond boots a try. Yeah, I want to try making a pair of diamond boots. I want to do an axe, diamond boots. I want to do a couple pickaxes. Like, I got a couple things planned here. We got our shovel. Shovel's all set. Our sword's good enough. I'm actually happy with that sword. I know there's no looting, and it's only sharpness three, but it'll still, like, two hit mobs, two, three hit mobs. So I'm, I'm actually really happy with that. Um, so we'll do diamond boots, our axe, and we'll do a couple pickaxes, I think. Maybe, maybe make an extra shovel. Uh, yeah. You know, we'll see what happens. Time for another 32. Come on, be good axe. You know what? You know what? I We take those. We take those. We're happy with that. We don't use the axe often. It'll be quicker than using our pickaxe. You know, we take it. Now, I'm going to get... Uh, I don't know how many levels, but actually, no. I'm getting no levels. We're going to take a bunch of these ender pearls, and we're going to go back to the overworld. I'm out of food. So... Actually, instead of grabbing ender pearls, I guess I should grab all of my stuff. I'll also grab, like, some ender pearls. We'll leave that here. This one we're going to take back with us. And we'll take everything else with us, yeah. And we'll take a whole row of ender pearls then. Awesome. I'm going to go back to the base, gather some food, and then I'm going to come back here and continue to do more enchanting. So I'm having a good time with this. All right, so after doing tons of math and calculations, it seems like level 44 is the perfect level to get. Uh, it'll, it'll be any level of unbreaking. We can't set that in. But if we get protection, it will be protection 4. And if we get feather falling, it will be feather falling 4. Like, there's no chance of it being other things, unless the website I'm using is wrong, which there's a chance. But let's hope. Feather falling protection, please. What the f this website is whack. This website lies to me. You know what? I believed it and it's wrong. And you know, I am so mad. I know I said 44 it takes a while. Oh my God. So getting to level 50, it took a while, but you know, I'd say maybe, maybe at max took 15 minutes to get to level 50. Honestly, like maybe 15, 20 minutes tops. Like it's not bad at all. But oh my god, just to flip through to get a level 50 enchantment alone took me like two minutes. Which it shouldn't. It Level 44 is so easy to get compared to level 50. But I want to do a max level enchant and see what we get. Holy shit! I'm breaking three, efficiency four, fortune three. That's a perfect fortune pickaxe. Dang it, I was hoping that level 50 wasn't worth it so we'd never have to do one again. But it looks like I'm going to try for another level 50 on that second pickaxe we got down there because, look, we haven't been doing level 50s and we've been getting terrible enchantments. So if we, we did one level 50 and it turned out perfect, so I mean, hey, maybe we'll get another perfect silk touch. Oh, last enchantment... Oh, this took me a good 5-10 minutes just to get level 50 on the enchantment table. And let me tell you, I passed over 50 once and I almost cried. <laughs> I don't know if we'll be doing level 50 enchantments. And if this doesn't turn out perfect, like perfect again, silk touch, you know, um, then I'm not doing level 50s anymore because that's crazy. All right, let's do it. <sighs> I mean, I can't say it's not perfect. It's efficiency for unbreaking three. That's pretty much what we would want for a work pick, which is awesome. Um, yeah, I can't complain. 
That's what we wanted was just another generic pickaxe where good we yeah okay you know I'm not complaining we have like because we can use our old fortune pickaxe as just a work pick um, keep this as our new fortune pick and now we have three work picks so yeah I'll I'll you know we'll go with it no silk touch but I did read up on the wiki that silk touching ice was not introduced until 1.3. So we won't be able to silk touch until the next update because 1.3 is the next update we're going to. We're skipping 1.2 simply be because 1.3 didn't add much and 1.2 didn't add much. So I decided to combine them together for one update. So, all right, I'm going to grab our spoils and head back to the base. I'll leave those boots here. Uh, you know, I'll take them with to store them in the chest somewhere. And I want to bring more ender pearls. Uh, just, you know, I'm trying to build up a double chest of them at home just so that we have one to move around with and I'm actually loving using ender pearls uh, to help get around the base if I if I need like wheat I just teleport off from the top of our base it puts me right in front of the um, uh, the barn and if I use an ender pearl I can teleport right back up onto the walls of the castle it's like Instead of having to walk all the way around, I just teleport back and forth now. It's awesome. Let's find something else to do today. I cannot make this shit up. I just woke up after coming back from the end. And I'm like, yeah, let's go downstairs. I cannot make this shit up. An Enderman put a dirt block in the house. I swear to God, it's that one that we saw on the way to the end. And it teleported here and put this dirt block. They are very mad. They are very upset with us. They are not happy that we've invaded their lands. Now that we have tons of ender pearls, I've been trying to think of ender pearl dispenser designs i don't want one that gives you 16 because i don't ever see me using 16 ender pearls in one journey and then needing 16 you know it would just make an odd stack of my inventory and then i was even thinking eight would be um a little bit too crazy so i was thinking of four and i'm trying to come up with the design and honestly the easiest and best design i've found so far is literally just a pressure plate and four dispensers I think this is the spot we're going to go with, and we're just, you know, going to do a really simple four dispensers, one piece of dirt, and a pressure plate on top. It's not the prettiest looking thing, it's actually really ugly, but with it being right there, um, it's very easy to just, I guess, <laughs> got to put the ender pearls in, which I'll stock these up, I'll grab more ender pearls from the end, but you know, if we're just running through... Oh, we only picked up three. I mean, but still, you know, it's not hard to just and then keep going. So let's put let's uh let's test it again real quick. We'll just come back here, eat some food real quick. We're going out. I see. Oh, look! I only have eight ender pearls. I want some more. All I do, I do is stop and go. There we go. That works. I like that. I wish it was a little bit uh, nicer looking. Like we could put something over top of that. But, you know, there's no carpets or anything yet. Hmm. Is there any way we can make this look a little bit better? I think putting wood on it would make it look even worse. I mean, we could put some tall grass around it. Let's see how that looks real quick since, you know, I can just pick up some bones. This mob farm is ridiculous, by the way. <laughs> it's crazy. I just harvested this, and there's 15 more gunpowder. I mean, that helps hide it. That does help hide it. What if we moved it over one block? I mean, it'll be even more out of the way then, but it might be a good idea. Let's put it here instead. I think it's like really out of the way. And we can put tall grass on every side of it. Let's see. Put ender pearls in each of these. Grab some more bone meal. Oh, you can't bone meal. Ooh. So I have to wait for that to grow. But I think if we did it there, you know, it's out of the way. You just got to come out of your way a little bit for it. And I think you're fine. Yeah, I think that's pretty nice. I think that's a cool little 
Alright. Ender Pearl Dispenser. I wish it was like actually involved redstone, but it doesn't involve, involve any redstone at all, so. Whatever. I think next we're gonna start a pretty long term project here in our world. Oh, it's always a good day when I get to use TNT. Oh my god, that was way bigger than it was supposed to be. What the heck? Wait, it just turned a log into a plank. Oh wait, no, it broke a plank up there. What is going on? Wait, I'm so confused. Why was there such a big explosion? Like, that was a huge explosion. Okay, I mean, I'm not complaining. This makes my job easier. It's weird that you still punch the TNT. That's huge. So, let me fill you in a little bit, I guess. My uh, my goal here is to actually finally build our nether portal. We don't have any spots for a nether portal in our world here. So I was thinking we'll build, like, a hell pit here. You have a branch off from the um, main section of the mine, and we will have... Ooh, I'm out of inventory space. Let me quickly build a chest. Put some of this junk away. Okay. Yeah, basically build like a little branch off and I'm gonna have it like convert into nether themed and then have, um, you know, have it built in like a little mini fortress I'm thinking. I don't know how big it's gonna be. I'm just gonna keep blowing stuff up until I'm happy, and then uh, I'll be back. Now that was fun. Now I'm gonna run to the nether and grab a ton of netherrack and convert this whole thing into netherrack. Watch. I just wanna go out on reference and say, you can't instant mine netherrack. Yeah, what? The quickest way to mine it is actually to like, tap it, in which is kind of instant mining it then, but I mean, you know, my poor mouse. Why can't I instant mine this? This is efficiency three, that should instant mine. Unless it's like just on the verge of instant mining it. I am very sick of our portal popping us out in the middle of nowhere. So that's enough of this portal, I'm destroying it. Boom, ta-da, just like that, it's all netherrack. I think it's just enough room. My idea is that we're going to have like a bridge go diagonally along here and then the nether portals are going to be down here in somewhat of like a, like a handmade nether fortress. I don't know how I'm going to do it or how it's going to come out, but my idea is to actually have two portals. We'll have one here and one here since you can't build a diagonal portal, but you know, basically it's going to be start somewhere along here what's that like one block diagonally right and then you know just just for the purpose of putting something down together real quick let's go ahead and I mean, that obviously needs to be switched. I didn't want to do this back area to netherrack just yet, because as you can see, you know, we're probably going to be changing things. But that actually kind of works a little bit. Let's switch this out. And we'll switch this corner up too. Switch this out. And switch that. And then again, this will be nether brick. Now there's no nether brick slabs, which really sucks, honestly. I don't know why there's not nether brick slabs. There's stairs though. And so I think that that's, it looks a little bit too wide. How weird would it look if we did something like that? Would that help like skinny that entrance up? No, it doesn't. But what if we put nether rack or nether brick behind the fences? That should help skinny it up a little bit and make it look more like a doorway instead of like a weird rectangle. Oh, wow, that did the trick like perfectly, actually. Yeah, that did the trick like perfectly. Let's do like that missing, though. I know there's stairs. Let's make um a stair real quick. A stair or two. 
and see what we can do with these. What if we did something like... Oh, just, <laughs> there's no upside down stairs. What am I thinking? That'd be crazy. That doesn't look good, though. What if we did something like that? That doesn't look bad, actually. That actually looks pretty good. Let's... I want to... Oh, I fell again. Ah, ender pearls. <laughs> we need feather falling. Um, what if we did this? Will that make it look even more round? Ooh, yeah, that looks really good, actually. And I want to do, you know, glowstone blocks and lava as well. But we'll get to that in a minute. I think that looks really good. Um, I wish there was more blocks that kind of went with this color palette. That's not obsidian, because I don't want to use obsidian too much as a decorational block. Uh, so we won't go back here with this. This will be a wall here, and we'll have this be a wall here, right? And so then the portals really would just be right here. Or actually, well, hmm. Yeah, let's do the portals like here. I'm going to make the poor man's portals just to save on obsidian. Don't hate me. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm going to do poor man's portals. Like this. Right, just like that. Now I don't have my foot and seal on me. Let's grab that real quick. Mm, is it in here? Yeah. Yeah, we use TNT, of course it's in there. Uh, yeah, I'm not like I'm already not liking the look of this, so I'm gonna have to change this. I wanna be able to see the portals from back here, and as it stands, yeah, let's like smush them together. Alright, let's see if this even works in this version of Minecraft. I don't know if it does. Oh, it does. Awesome. So let me decorate this place a little. Let's take a step back and look at it, but then I'm gonna decorate this place a little bit. And then we'll come back. Oh, that's Perfect, that looks amazing. Let me do some decoration. So guys, we're actually at like the 24 minute mark. So we're gonna call it here. We'll finish this up next episode, get some decorating going. I completely forgot that there's gravel and soul sand in the nether as well. It's not just netherrack. Um, I completely ran out of the nether brick. So I need to go back to the nether, gather up some more of that. I'm gonna gather up some more glowstone. Get some buckets of lava going. And we'll finish this build off next episode. It's coming together. I'm really liking how it looks so far. Hope you guys like it too. Hope you guys are enjoying the uh, the series and these episodes. If you do, consider subscribing and giving it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. helps me get noticed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.